Welcome to Follow Your Joy Podcast, where intuition is the doorway to your wisdom, your genius, and your joy. I'm your host, Marla Diane, and I've been transforming creative entrepreneurs' lives for over 26 years. Through two businesses as a success coach and a business strategist, and prior to that, an entertainment publicist and a talent manager for two decades. It's time to make joy your inner GPS for life and business decisions rather than lean on your logic and reason first. You'll not only be following what is most authentic to you and for you, but you will live the beautiful life that's meant just for you. We'll come to learn that following your joy is a life and a business strategy. Listen in for inspiring entrepreneurial stories and solo casts that illuminate how by trusting your intuition, you'll create a fulfilling result. Want to learn how to access, trust, or up-level your intuition? Join me in the conversation to find out how. All right. Well, hello, creatives. Look, if you are a lover of dogs and outdoors nature, you will thoroughly enjoy my guest and what she has to inspire you with. She did for me when I met her. So if these passions, dogs, nature, outdoors, hiking, right? Hiking is the the operative word here. Um, Then, you know, these, uh, it's the one of the main reasons why I uh, invited her um, as a guest, right? Because these are my passions. I love dogs. I love hiking. I love outdoors. In fact, if I could be outdoors in nature, most of the time, I'd probably be the happiest girl on the planet. (laughs) Right? You two out there? Uh, yeah. And, uh, you know, I met our guest, uh, in my leads group online in zoom. And it was from the, the first time that she was on there and introduced herself. I went, Oh, what is this? What is she doing? <laughs> and so, yeah, I thought that her business name and the focus was really unique and it was really spot on. Right. And we're also neighbors. You know, we both live in the Palos Verdes area, which is really cool. So when I reached out to her, it was very intuitive. And I acted pretty fast um, that day after the meeting to, you know, to set up a Zoom call and get to know her more. Because I I loved, I went to her website and I really enjoyed her story, which you get to hear today. Um, So, yeah. So let's bring on... Jamie's son of Hiking Girl with Dog. And uh, I'm going to give you a little bit of a quick, quick uh, background here. And then uh, let's let's officially have her come on. So let's see. Jamie has been hiking um, with her dog, Zena, <laughs> um, and sharing their inspiring adventures with the world since 2014. Um, It was the lack of fulfillment in Jamie's former life as an IT professional um, that led her to turning her outdoor escape of hiking (laughs) with Zena into a full-time business, right, as a coach and a guide. And as I said, she'll share that story today and what else went on behind the scenes about this IT job. (laughs) <laughs> and, you know, her example, it's really, it's a great example of monetizing your passion. I mean, it honestly, it almost got me to go, I'm going to go do that with her. I think I'm, <laughs> I think I'm just going to go live outdoors. <laughs> you know, I mean, I, I am, I am such a nature girl. It's just like, got to do it. All right. So it was through then for Jamie, the solitude of hiking and shared adventures that deepened her trust and bond with Zena, and they helped each other overcome fears and gain confidence and feel empowered by being outdoors hiking together, right? 
And with her being an introvert and um, an HSP, which is for those of you that don't know, it's, it's a highly sensitive person and it's also an empath, right? These hikes became her soothing elixir for life, right? So Jamie's also, she's got a, a wonderful artistry as a Los Angeles-based photographer, specializing in, guess what? Dog portraits in nature. <laughs> So if you want an amazing, you know, photo shoot with your dog in nature and you're in, uh, you know, the Southern California area where we are, you know, give her a call and, and set that baby up. So through her business, she offers easy to difficult hikes all over the LA area into the na national forests. So it's my joy to welcome you to follow your joy, Jamie. <laughs> Hi, Marla. <laughs> that was wow. <laughs> Thank yeah. you for the intro. Oh, you're very welcome. Yeah, it's just it really, really hits my, you know, my heart. I love it. I love what you do. Thank you. That's what you said the first time we met. <laughs> yeah, dogs. And like I said, dogs and nature and outdoors, hiking. right? Mm, yep. Yeah. Yeah. It's why we're here today. It's why we're you know, new friends. <laughs> That's like, right. She's my type of person. <laughs> oh, okay, good. So let's start with some background for my um for my listeners or my creatives. So share some highlights of your journey, like what happened in your personal life, right, that inspired you to take this route. Um, as you said it in my intro, I was an IT professional out of college. And good money and living comfortably, but somewhere in my 30s, starting to have this nagging feeling, like, is this it? Mm -hmm. um, at that time, I was married and had a good job and had a dog and I had a house, you know, and the paper, it seemed just everything is right on track, but just felt like I was missing something. I didn't know what I was missing then. Um, but I just wasn't feeling fulfilled. And then um, quietly, but surely that felt the feeling grew um, over the time. And in 2014, um, life happened. And in less than two months, um, my position at the company I was with almost almost 10 years um, ended. Um, due to offshoring. Being in IT, that was just always happening. The jobs are going offshore. Um, so that wasn't anything new, but that just happened. And then a long-term relationship um, ended as well, like after eight years. So that just happened within less than two months. Mm -hmm. And I feel like I lost everything. Mm -hmm. um, and just to stay focused and positive, I've just never been a negative person. So always trying to do stuff. Uh, what can I do to stay positive and see the silver lining and where do I need to go from here, right? What's my next stepping stone? So um, I started hiking with Zena. Zena was about two years old at the time. And um, I was a runner uh, back then. So we were running, but then I switched over to hiking. And uh, once I introduced hiking to her, she stopped running with me. And I realized I had a hiking dog. Um, so that was a big motivation for me to take her on trails. Okay, this is what you want to be. And she's she came like me in a dog form. She is an introvert. She's highly sensitive. Um, she didn't like big groups. Um, she wants to say hi to other dogs in her you know, terms and just everything about her. But nature and trails on trails, she just bloomed. I mean, she just was coming out of her um, like herself. And that just gave me so much joy. And I already was a hiker, but now like hiking all the time. I was more of a casual hiker. And just that got us going hiking pretty much every week I had time <laughs> so we kept going hiking um and even if I felt anxious about you know the job search and where I was in my life at the time 
Um, and once we were on a hike and when we were done with it, I walked away feeling good, happy, optimistic about future, even though I don't know what's going to happen, but I knew everything will be okay. Um, and just saw Zena growing into who she is on trail was just something else to witness. Um, and we became a good partner. Um, my strength and her strength starting to show um, on trail and outside of the trail. Um, so we have a partnership that I trust her instinct when we get lost. Um, <laughs> yeah, there are some times that we will be like, I'll be standing there and talking with her and like, no, I think we need to go this way. And she will be insisting that this is her way is the right way. Um, nine out of 10 times, she was always right. So after that, yeah, now if she says she's insisting that we need to go a certain way, I follow her. Mm -hmm. um, her instinct is right on. Um, she lets me lead because she doesn't know where we're going. But when we're coming back, um, you know, I lose my track. Then she wants to lead and take us to the car. So I say, let's go home and she'll find us the trail. Um, and wow. it's just amazing thing to see. And yeah, and it's just a wonderful partnership. Um, so yeah, it's just one after the other. We keep having this type of experience that I never, never, ever expected. Um, and I had a dog before Zena, but you know, like every dog comes in your life with different gift. Yeah. Um, Zena's definitely my heart dog, soul mm -hmm. dog. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah. So you know what that is like. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So she helped me through that phase and we just really, um, bonded deeply. Then I can't even, you know, explain it with words, um, and that just went on and it's been 10 years that we've been doing that. Isn't that <laughs> wonderful? God, talk about feeling fulfilled. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. I mean, that's the first time in my life I felt whole. Mm -hmm. Like this is what I was missing. And I would have never, ever would have told, you know, tell anyone because I didn't know what I was missing until I found it. Yeah. And I found it on trail mm -hmm. in the mountains. So. And, and what was that kind of defining moment that you went, I need to do this for a living. That's actually a very clear moment for me. So 2020, um, you know, the COVID happened and COVID changed everybody's life. Right. Mm -hmm. And including mine. So I was a contractor and when COVID hit my contract, was terminated and everybody you know a lot of people went through that so now I'm working on my resume and every time I sit down and trying to work on my resume I felt this tightness in my chest physically felt tightness in my chest and I felt trapped so at this point I always been more aware of my, you know, intuition and the guidance that I received within, but it became more clear in the last five years or so after I started meditation. So when I get signs, I know it's a sign. I don't ignore it. Um, so I tried it a few times more. I sit down trying to work on my resume every single time I had tightness in my heart. Mm -hmm. So then what I do is instead of working on my resume, I find something else to do. Right. Mm -hmm. So then after a few times of this, I just said, you know what? I think my path is done here. This is mm -hmm. time for me to make a move. Yeah. Yeah. And it was clear. And with my dog photography business that I already had on the side initially I thought that was going to be my you know main way mm -hmm. to be on my own okay so um since that that was already as a setup as a business right but I've tried it for a year and I get this 
I'm like hitting the wall with it. Mm-hmm. And I realize I'm again, I'm having the intuition feeling that, okay, I don't think this is where I need to be keep going, but I'm trying to go there. It's not happening naturally. Things are not opening up, right? Doors are not opening up. Mm-hmm. Um, and when I thought about doing hiking, and it was a recommendations by my friends and family. So like, why aren't you doing hiking <laughs> with the people, right? I'm like, oh, would people go hiking with me? And <laughs> it was pretty funny. Like, oh, I oh. love it. I do it. But I wasn't thinking that I can't offer that as a service. It just never occurred to me. Yeah. But when that was um, suggested, my heart just, I don't know, light up. And I got so excited. Mm. And that was a good sign, right? Yeah. I was nervous mm. to be on my own, but I got really excited. So I knew it, it was my time to do my own mm. and do what I love. <laughs> so amazing. I certainly hope you teach this when you're hiking with people. I mean, seriously, as I'm sitting here listening and and probably you too, that's out, you know, as you're listening listener, (laughs) it's like, okay, can you teach somebody how to feel that? In other words, it's, it's really um, inspiring to hear how you were so good about listening to your heart, listening to your intuition, listening to your body. Right. There's a lot of people, what m- uh, many people will do, including myself at times, even though you know me, I'm very big about it, you know, intuition, right. Right. Is we'll push through it. We'll mm. just ignore it and we'll go, no, that's just, you know, that's resistance or fear. And I'm, and I can make it happen. Right. And I can make it happen. <laughs> I'm just going to, you know, push through it. Right. Right. And so well, it's not always clear, right? Because if you mm-hmm. first time you hear feel that certain way, I think people, I get a tightness in my chest, but some other people might be feeling a headache coming on yeah. or feeling nauseous. It's the body or, We're talking, right? It's just different way of you, you know, you get a message and yeah. it's personal. Yeah. So what is your sign, right? That's something you have to understand every time you're trying to do something and you, um, you know, there's a stuff that you have to do, but you don't like doing, but you know, you have to do it. You don't feel this kind of feelings. Mm -hmm. It's just in your head. You don't want to do it. Yeah. But when it's not really your way, your Mm -hmm. whole being feels it. Mm, There you go. Okay. That's a good distinction. I thought that makes sense. It's in your head. Yeah. Right? You're saying if it's in your head, okay. You know, you, you got to get whatever XYZ done. But when you check yeah. in with your body, right, your body's going to tell you through right. different symptoms, right? It's not right. And the symptoms do get stronger if you continuously to push through something that is you're not supposed to be doing. Mm-hmm. Or it's maybe it's not the right path you're supposed to be on, right? Maybe mm-hmm. it was just feeling a little bit of a headache and on and off, but that could become like a serious chronic headache all the time. Yeah. If you're continuously doing it or being in a relationship when you're not supposed to be in, it's time to leave. I don't know, right? Yeah. No. All different situations. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's that power of... um really understanding that it begins with our physical you know the emotions yes into the physical and that's how our body alerts us right it's how our body alerts us that sometimes you know we're gonna kind of either ignore or skip over and go okay what's that about right Um, but I, th- I really agree with you that when we can be more in tune with discerning right. what's in the head versus what's in the body. Right. Because, I mean, along the same lines, I mean, it's the same thing with, you know, I'm sure you've heard this many times and, and you, you, of course, that's listening um, today with us. And that is... Um, 
you know, our dis-ease begins in the emotion. It begins in the, you know, in, then in the cells, but it begins with emotional status. And then it turns into a physical ailment. And then it turns into perhaps even a disease. Right. So it's all, that's all. Manifest. Mm -hmm. Right. Yeah. That's, that's the whole body, you know, mindset, yeah. the whole body medicine alternative. It's, it's not the Western medicine model. That's for sure. So mm -hmm. anyway, yeah. Good on you that you listened. I mean, I love that part of your story, which I did not know. <laughs> yeah. Very cool. Okay. All right. So now you, you know, you're like, okay, <laughs> I am off and running. I'm listening to my body. I'm actually doing what, you know, I feel fulfilled and I'm monetizing my passion. Right. I'm monetizing my passion. So what brings you then the most joy in what you do in your business? Oh my. Um <laughs> just one. <laughs> I know. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, you can talk <laughs> about a couple of them, but we still have a few more questions to go through. Yeah, yeah. it's like it's like the question I often get: "What's your favorite hike?" Uh, just <laughs> one? Yeah, just about ten of them? <laughs> <laughs> Depends where. <laughs> so, yeah, I mean, just overall, yeah. Yeah, a couple points. What I know everything based on based on what you've said so far, everything brings you joy about you know your business. What I do, yeah, what you do, but yeah. What are some of the highlights that really bring you joy adventure mm -hmm. i mean that's why i started hiking right so hiking just pushes you into um being a child Ooh. in a sense um that i'm not talking about cliche or you know of like, oh, be connected with your inner child. I'm not trying to say that. Okay. Um, but hiking pushes to get out of your comfort zone, right? Uh -huh. Okay. Um, and get into the discovery mode. Because, uh, I mean, even if you hike the, let's say, same trail over and over and over, trails are not like the pavement or the sidewalks or, I don't know, wherever you normally walk. Okay, it's flat and nice surface and all that stuff. You're into the woods and walking on step, you know, stones or rocks, you just just different terrain. Um, you have to deal with the different situations that you normally have to deal with daily basis. You have to come out of your comfort zone and figure stuff out sometimes, right? Like, how do I get to, I see a trail there and I'm on a trail, but I don't see a connection there. So then you got to figure stuff out to make it to the next part it's fun and it puts you it helps you use your brain in a different way than what you normally do at home or at work okay so it's refreshing it's inspiring um and i just love the adventure part of it mm. small or big um and just being in nature right you get therapy and i always call it my nature therapy mm -hmm. yeah <laughs> That. Yeah, yeah. So I love that. Um, if I could add another one that it's a big on that list for me is that seeing the positive transformation in my clients. Um, because hiking was a therapy for me and also meditation. And it was a spiritual journey for me, which was a surprising um, that I wasn't, you know, wasn't looking for that. But that was all came as a gift. So I would love to see that in my clients without me listing those things out because everybody's experience is different. Mm -hmm. um, but I want everyone who hikes with us to feel uplifted and empowered nice. when they're done. And I, <laughs> I'm not kidding you, after the hike, every client, their face is brighter than when they start hiking with me. Yeah. And I see it. They just glow. Mm. Right. It just makes me happy that I had something to do with that, making an impact in someone's life just mm. even for that day. Yeah. Well, when you, you know, when you combine, um, it's, it's a, it's a given, it's a God given benefit of life and that's nature. And that when you're out in nature, 
whether you're, you know, conscious of it or not, but most of us are, there is a transformation, there is a shift, be it small or large. Mm -hmm. And what it sounds like to me is that what you're able to offer people that want to go, they want to, you know, dedicate more time to hiking, or they want to get out and have that transforming experience. It's, it's, it's like you're there to assist them in coming out of their routine mm-hmm. because the routine, as we all know today, ah, right, we're all over right. scheduled and dema- you know, over demanded yeah. and we're doing our thing, yeah. you know, because we getting close to burnout, perhaps getting closer to burnout. But the point is, it's a wonderful escape and a wonderful um way to get people out of the routine, which is exactly why I'm big about travel, right? Yes. Whenever, right. Whenever my clients are, you know, in a session and we're talking about their stress or their burnout, besides looking for solutions to do something better or leverage or delegate better is, you know, I'll ask, I'll go, okay, I haven't heard you talk about you. Have you taken a vacation or have you taken a weekend away? Have you you know gone to what's even better is obviously an international trip, like get into a new culture, go mm-hmm. get out of here. Right. Mm-hmm. Cause when you right, get out of your routine and you do that, um, what is it called? The, um, I don't remember there's a term for it right now. It's escaping me, but mm-hmm. yes, yeah, is that you're, you're out of your routine and you break up that pattern. It's a pattern right. interrupt. That's what I was looking for. Gotcha. So it's a pattern interrupt. And even something as a local hike for a day. Can no, do- it makes a huge difference. Yeah. I think I was telling you that before that I don't know what burnout feels like because I never get to that point. Hmm. Even you. when I was working full time, oh. right? Mm-hmm. Stress at work and same, right? The work is work. Um, mm-hmm. Even good jobs always give you stress working with other people, with the projects, deadlines and everything else, mm-hmm. right? And the personal lives. But every weekend I went hiking and and it just when it's over, when I'm done by Monday comes, I'm ready yeah. to tackle another week, yeah. right? Yeah. Oh, love it. It was so awesome. So, yeah. And especially, you know, being that you're a guide and a coach, sure, that the, to, to witness, and that's why we love, you know, as coaches love yeah. transformation. We love seeing how we can enhance people's lives. Right. Yeah. So terrific on that. Um, okay. So you, I mean, you already expressed one great example of following your intuition, right? Which was you sitting behind a computer putting together a resume and your body's going, oh no. Oh, oh no. you're done. <laughs> I, it took you a couple of times to finally go, okay, I'm going to listen to that. That's intuition. Right. But is what else, is there another um, quick story around you following your intuition, right? That led to obviously a fulfilling result. Hmm. Well, how about, I mean, I think it happens all the time for me. It's not like once or twice in my life, even like little things during the day. But, right. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but one, one thing that might be, um, I don't know if I shared this with you, but when we start hiking, um, I used to have panic attacks um, because I get anxious about things, you know, whatnot. And on a one hike, um, I used to be afraid of heights. I still not comfortable with it, but um, I was really bad Mm -hmm. um, when I started hiking. So I was looking for the trails that doesn't have narrow, you know, um, cliff or anything. I was looking for things that so that's going to trigger me. And I turned this corner and there was a, I wouldn't even call it a cliff, but at that point in my mind, it was steep and my heart started pounding and Zena just start jumping on me. 
all over. And she pushed me, she's 31 pounds and she's not like that, but she pushed me to the ground that I couldn't get up and she sprawled herself all over. So I, I can't get up. What? And yeah. And so that made me all panicky more because, oh my God, we're going to fall off together because she's doing this. Right. Okay. I, she does, she didn't let me get up. So I stayed there for a little bit and then and then later it got okay. And then she got off me. I was like, that was really weird. We got on another hike within six months. Um, not even that, maybe like three, four months. And another trail and something similar thing happened, right? And it happened, same thing. She pushed me, she pushed me until I fell on the ground. And then she was all over me, sprawled out. And I couldn't push 30 pound dog off me. And realize wait a minute I think she's trying to protect me right so I'm hearing this message right yep. stay put yep. so I stay put and breathe and just work on my breathing until I was calm wow so Dina got off me on her own I'm okay now so when I'm sitting there I just was wow totally in awe of how this dog is just so smart and what is happening here in these two situations. Mm -hmm. Then I realized, oh, I need to do something about my fear of heights because I'm going to get in her way of her ex experiencing adventure. Mm. I need to get over my fear. Mm. And so that with that message, I start working on my fear of heights purposely choosing some trails and I will get to the point that I can, I can't do anymore. And sure enough, she will react once it gets to, even before I realize my heart was beating fast, she will realize and she started looking at me and I could feel the vibe of what she's going to do. Yeah. Worked on that for two years and I did Cucamonga Peak, which was 12 miles and we gained 4,000 feet. Oh my. And I got off this the top of rock and I still remember thinking, this dog, I'm sorry, <laughs> not emotional. Yeah. No. Oh. Like just this dog helped me to see yeah. and help me with my intuition, just working all together in a sense that where mm. help me a better person, help me get over my fear, right? Mm. And just, I mean, this is just one example, but we have so many of <laughs> these experiences. That's a beautiful story. Thank you. It's, there's so many levels in that story, which, um, you know, I'm a huge, huge advocate, believer, you know, and student of animal communication. Yes. Uh, and I've taken courses in it. I used to represent when I was in PR, I used, I used, yeah, used to represent a author. She's a well-known animal communicator. Um, I've used animal communicators for my Mojo, my previous dog. I'm getting close to That's right. hiring someone for Ruby. Mm -hmm. <laughs> she's doing a couple of behaviors that I'm not thrilled with. <laughs> um, <clears throat> other than that, she's a, a beautiful joy, but there's mm -hmm. some, yeah. But the mm -hmm. point is, yeah, is that animals, I mean, there's, they are so spiritual yes. and they are so in tune with the bigger picture more than we are. Yes. More yes. Are, yeah. They really operate almost in the fifth dimension more than, than the you know, right. third dimension. And yeah, their, their main role in our life and they choose, they choose us. I believe in that too. They yes. find us. Yes. <laughs> right. They'll find you. You know, it may seem like, oh, look what we found. No. Or no, I adopted true. or I yeah. got. No, no. <laughs> that dog knew where it was going long before you even knew this. Yes. Um, is that they're there to help you heal. And yes. You, you know, love and enjoy your life more. If yes. you're willing to listen. You have to be open. Right. Yeah. You have to be willing to listen and ready to receive. Yep. Right. 
the changes that are coming for you. Because if I kept thinking afterwards, I kept thinking, God, what if I was just really dense about it and just keep pushing her out like don't stop you know mm-hmm. and then it would even just continue struggle right between okay. two of us but that I stop and listen to what she was trying to tell me right um and I feel like she was just being a helper being mm-hmm. a helper an yeah. angel right she's my guardian <laughs> angel Yes, she is. Um, you need to get over this, right? <laughs> if you're going to be a coaching, you know, coach and hiker, <laughs> you need to get over this. So, yeah. Yeah. Isn't that wonderful? Wow. Oh, my gosh. There's, yeah, there's so many stories that I, I am aware of, you know, that validate the same thing about our animals. I mean, that's, yeah. Okay. <laughs> I know we can talk about I that. All day. <laughs> yeah. I could go on for quite a while about that yes, because it's I agree. super powerful. Yeah. So, okay. Those of you obviously that are listening, you know, you're probably nodding your head going, yep, that's my dog. That's what, <laughs> that's my cat. That's, that's what goes on. Um, they're very, very special, you know, beings in our life. Right. Please, right. please pay attention to them is what I'm asking you all. Yeah. To do. Is their behavior most of the time, it's not a hundred percent, but most of the time their behavior is all about helping you heal, yes. helping you pay attention to something. Um, yeah, there's these stories that in not only one of the books that I was reading, but also the videos from this expert, um, that I follow. And um, she really dove into, you know, pay attention to their behavior. Their behavior is not an issue with them. It's a behavior to get your attention about you. Yes. (laughs) So that's what I'm doing with Ruby. (laughs) Like the behavior, to tell me. <laughs> yeah, the behavior that she's doing, other than I think she's a little bored sometimes, bless yeah. her heart, as I'm working here behind the scenes. Sure. But I'm like, okay, you know you're supposed to do this, not this. So what are you trying to get my attention about? <laughs> it's like she's super smart. So I know right. she knows. Yes. I know she knows what she's supposed to do, but then she'll do something differently. Right. And I'll go, okay what is it about my life that you're trying to get me to pay attention to? Because you're making me a little, you know, a little yeah. upset here that you're doing this behavior instead of what you know is right. 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 And so, yeah, I'm trying to follow my own, you know, from what <laughs> I learned and then the advice that was given to me. Like, ah. So hence my point is I'm looking to hire an animal communicator to help me find out. Understand you know, why. Yeah, what is she trying to tell me? Yes. That's what goes on. Have you done an animal communicator before? Have you had a, a session with one? Um, no, not a communicator, but I had an experience of uh, Reiki with Zena. Um, oh. she, she was attacked by a, a dog uh, while we were walking in the neighborhood, uh, and it was bad. Um, so after that, she was hiding under my bed and wouldn't come out. Um, so yeah, I had a good friend, um, who was a Reiki master. So I reached out to her. Um, I did meditation with her and it did seem to help, but I wanted a Reiki done, um, you know, for her. So my friend, uh, worked on her, but worked on me first and then worked on her, but it made a huge difference. Fabulous. Yeah. Reiki is wonderful for animals. Yeah. Oh, good. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. This could turn into a, an animal discussion. So, okay. <laughs> Which is fine with me, but we got some time. We got to finish up here. Okay. <laughs> so good. So um, lastly, you know, based on your experience, what key advice, you know, oh, I know you have a lot, but what key advice can you give my creatives? Um. I don't know if I'm at a position to give anyone advice. <laughs> oh, you're so <laughs> modest. <laughs> but but based on my experience, um, I think the first thing is just learning the signs when your intuition is trying to tell you something. Everybody, are, everyone has 
a different sign. Um, so what is your sign that you keep getting, right? Mm -hmm. And just your heart knows the authentic path you need to be on. Um, and everyone in your life doesn't have to agree with you. But if it's your path, you know it in your heart. And just you keep getting the pull, right, toward it. So then you just have to keep moving toward it. And one step at a time, you don't have to know where you're going. Um, you're not supposed to know everything, right? Um, and then for me, checking in with myself daily helps me to stay focused. Um, when I get anxious about future or unknown or lose a, you know, client or something like that, uh, you, you know, easily get discouraged, right? Um, but checking in with myself. So what I do is like every morning when I wake up, um, I start with uh, meditation and um, sometimes journaling, um, not everyday journaling, but yeah, that those things before I do anything else. Great. And Beautiful. it keeps me grounded. So yeah. that's something I like to add it to, you know, um, my business is like, I would like to host uh, once a month um, guided hike and meditation. And so I, you know, I hope more people can join and kind of experience it and right. what it's like, especially when you do meditation in nature. Mm. It's just, yeah, it's just such a beautiful experience. Yeah. So, for sure. yeah. That is for sure. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Um, mm -hmm. Can I add one more thing to that? Sure, yeah. Um, just leaning onto the right energy to mm -hmm. draw inspiration. Mm. For me, it's hiking. It just I always get it's still hiking. I mean, I think we talked about that. Hiking is a form of meditation. Right? Yes. Especially when you do it alone with your dog, uh, or just in a small group. Um, then you know, it's just helps you clear your head, um, you know, just get you re grounded. Yeah. Yes. And yeah, and just be inspired. Um, just always get new ideas and inspirations while I'm hiking. So Hmm. that would be my recommendation fantastic i mean it's and it's always you know we always get inspired when we're not in front of our computer <laughs> that's right <laughs> like that's the moral of the story that's <laughs> right. get away that's step yes. away from the computer yes sitting, sitting is the worst thing you can do for your body and mind yes. for a long term you know like you just have to get up and move now, the energy <laughs> flow <laughs> yeah, that's right. I love that. Okay. So where can people get in touch with you? Let's have, let, you know, let's let everyone know. It's like, go to the hiking girl with dog. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> yes. My website is the best place to go. Get all the information. It's hiking girl with dog.com. Um, I have a group hike schedule listed there. I schedule it um, like a month ahead so people can plan. Um, and I do offer virtual coaching. If anybody wants one-on-one, um, so anyone who's training for hikes uh, in their neighborhood, in their, you know, state, um, and I just need to know what kind of hike it is, and I can help you train for that and what kind of conditions you need to train for. Oh, fantastic. Okay, good. So it could literally yeah. be anywhere in the world. Yeah, I've worked with a client who's in Missouri who was doing a long hike in Pennsylvania, so... Mm -hmm. It really doesn't matter yeah. where the hike is, where you are, um, as long as I know where, like Missouri is flat. So I was trying to add some, you know, more hilly hikes around her um, so that she can start building endurance. And also the her hike that she wanted to do was an 18 mile uh, one. So, yeah, we had to build her up to it. And it's, right. it was a six months, uh, you know, plan. Very, very good. Okay. And they can also opt in to with their email to receive yes. what? Um, so my website actually started as a blog 10 years ago. So I have load of hiking information there, um, hiking trails. Um, also, you know, I'm, I'm sure you're not surprised. All my hikes are dog friendly. <laughs> so mm -hmm. yes if anybody's interested in dog friendly hiking uh, locations anywhere in LA and into the national forest around us 
Um, you can find all that information on my website. And I actually have trail tips, um, dog gear, um, my gear reviews, and all that good information. Okay, there you have it, everybody. So, Jamie, thank you very, very much. Um, Thanks for having me. It was so much fun. <laughs> all, always. I mean, especially the, this topic, you know, I could I could definitely talk for quite a long time on it. So I hope you, um, my, my listener, I hope that you enjoyed the stories and, uh, you know, her wisdom around what listening to your intuition and following your joy. I mean, mm -hmm. that, that feeling in her body, you know, don't do the resume, get away from that. Don't go back into what you were doing essentially in my terms, it was telling her to follow her joy. Mm -hmm. That's right. So what a great story, right, everybody? And uh, I can't encourage you enough to do that yourself or do it even more. If you think you're doing it, do it even more, right? <laughs> That's right. Yeah, good. All right. So take care, everybody. And uh, we will be back, right, uh, for the next episode. Uh, which will be, my gosh, uh, oh my Lord, we're almost at the end of the year. So um, yeah, have a, a wonderful rest of your day wherever you are in the world. And uh, again, listen to your intuition and follow that beautiful joy. Take care, everyone. Bye-bye. Thanks for listening in. You can find more entrepreneurial stories and resources at MarlaDiane.com. And while you're there, enjoy my three free downloads to up-level your business and your life. How about you take a screenshot of this episode and tag me on Instagram by sharing your highlights of what you learned today. I'd love to connect there with you. Until next episode, take care.